as seen on Kaleidoscope the Series. Kaleidoscope the Series on ABC 23. It's a different look at our region, unique places you may not know exist, unique people sharing their amazing talents. There are good things happening in our area. Watch it all every Sunday on Kaleidoscope the Series on ABC 23. While driving into St. Mary's along the busy thoroughfare sits a small structure you might miss if you're not looking closely. After settling in the St. Mary's area in the mid-1800s, Michael Decker built a chapel. In 1928, the Knights of Columbus restored the chapel back to its original beauty. And in 1955, the chapel was lit for the first time, and the lights have been on every night since. In 1998, the Elk County Historical Society successfully added the chapel to the National Register of Historical Places. But how the chapel came to be and what it means to St. Mary's residents is really the unique part of the story. It came when the Decker family moved to this area in the early 1850s. One day, Mr. Decker was up in a tree in his orchard. Now, I don't know if he was taking the cat down or if he was pruning. Maybe he was pruning. But anyway, he fell from the tree. He had a very critical back injury and was going to be laid up for a long time. So he promised God that if he could recuperate and get back on his feet again, he would build a chapel and maintain it. It took him almost two years to get recuperated. And immediately, he kept his promise to God and he built this chapel. In the beginning, the neighbors would come in and they would say the rosary with Miss Senior Decker. Now, the same thing has happened because we're open 24 hours. People from the motel up on top of the hill here, they come down and they can have a quiet time away from the hubbub going on up there. You calm yourself down, it calms you down so that you can be more uh, personal with God and, and tell him your problems. After all, he did something great for Monsignor Decker. He healed him, so why wouldn't he heal me? Most everything in the building is original or was put here many years ago. You'll see some framed pictures have kind of water spots or damp spots on them, but they're still the original ones and we wouldn't take them down. There is only four kneelers in here and they, you might be able to get three people a kneeler. So that's what, 12 people? So that's the most that can really be in here worshiping at that time. Decker's Chapel has been considered one of the smallest churches, if not the smallest church in the country. It's fun to read the register where people sign it because they come from all over the country and even from around the world we've had them sign up. So it's nice to know that they are coming and they say a little prayer. We have some cards back here on the altar place where they can write down one of their prayers or their requests to God as they're praying. And then other people can read those and include them in their prayers. So it, it's a nice worshipful place and a quiet time by yourself. Back in 2015, we found major water damage to the foundation of the building. We thought it was totally lost since we could not afford such a major renovation. But then groups such as Scott Stackpole Foundation stepped up, gave us a major donation followed by many people, many organizations in the community and the surrounding area who helped us raise the money to restore the building and to keep it going. We certainly hope that for many years, many generations will come to appreciate our building and what it stands for. The building itself is open 24-7. We encourage people to stop in just to appreciate everything that has been put into the building, that it has survived for so many years and for what it stands for. Some people donate, send us a check, others don't. It doesn't matter. It's just that the place is used and it's kept for people to remember the faith of one man. And we should be that faithful too. So he's a good example for all of us.